So I'm invading in the dank dungeon last night, and it's the usual shit. There's a parade of phantoms with the host, and we're all playing Royal Rumble Souls. It's intense, there's bombs and charms flying around, and nobody's getting anywhere. But amongst these battles of attrition, there are some great encounters to be had. Like when I invaded these two dudes that decided to have a standoff with me. So of course I rush in there and get the party started, knowing I've got a really great enemy nearby that could ruin both their plans. I'm working on baiting them, cause they got that power of numbers mentality. One of them is bound to get brave or annoyed, and either outcome works for me. So Goldie comes charging in, and I'm just giving him confidence, watching him push his way toward the dead end trap I have waiting for him. The dummy rolls right into the wall and is pinned between bricks and this prison bitch, who does not mess around. He breaks into the panic rolls, and I know I've got him. There's nowhere to go. I got this wall of zombies just holding him back. Then it's time for the host. I'm wearing down his stamina, breaking his guard, and inserting my mail breaker in his belly button like it's a sheath. The battle's wearing on and I know there's some lag, but it doesn't matter because he's spamming that sword at me like he wants the dagger again. I'm a good invader, so I give him what he's asking for. It's no trouble, really. That brings me to the holy grail of invasions, an actual lone host. 1v1 scenario, no rules duel, so I'm looking around, seeing what enemies are aggro, figuring out where the host might be, and I get the feeling he didn't even leave the bonfire yet. Sure enough, he hadn't. I'm trailing him up the stairs and the bastard doubles back on me, so it's go time. I'm sizing him up, taking mental notes on his build and trying to sort out what type of a player he is. How careful will he be, or is he gonna spam me with that mid-speed weapon and give me a dozen parry opportunities? He launches his first attack and I'm dodging around the swings. I didn't expect to see him swing more than three times, so now I'm taking a mental note. The chase is back on and he's backing down the stairs. He launches another attack and I come up parrying for that fourth hit, but it never came. So we're dancing around the bonfire and his shield's up. Wouldn't you know it, that bastard hit and ran. I throw a back step attack because it covers enough ground to look like I meant to hit him and gives me plenty of time to throw a parry. I love that thud you hear when you parry an attack, it's like audio sex. He starts retreating up the stairs and I know he's gonna go for a heal, it's inevitable. No worries, I know what to do now. We reset the encounter outdoors and I'm looking for an opportunity to bait another attack. After a little back and forth I throw a rolling attack and I can feel it in my bones, he's gonna swing. I land another parry and stop pummeling him with my Murakumo when I see his health. Are you fucking kidding me? Now I'm doing 1080 Estus spins, we're doing synchronized sips, and I'm getting tired of this shit so I hit him with a charm. I fuck up a perfect setup parry attempt because he was wise enough to delay his second attack. I recover and dodge into a parry, prepared for his fourth attack, but only get a partial. Landing a clean parry, I apply some flame to the blade and grab another repost. The bastard is still hanging on to life, but still can't heal so I decided to keep the pressure on with quick attacks. He's waiting on that charm to wear off so he can sip some Sunny D, and sure enough, as soon as he can, he gets his lips on the flask. It's all good though, because I had him on a string, and with a simple missed two-handed attack, I knew the fight was over. I figured he wouldn't go for the bait anymore unless he thought there was no chance of me reposting him, so I missed the swing and quickly brought out my shield as I approached him. The timing was perfect, and looking back on it, it's like I wasn't even conscious of the entire fight. I was in this trance-like state, just operating off instinct and flowing like baby Bruce Lee. I queued up the golf clap and made myself a drink. 